Now it's time for everyone's favorite segment, community questions. And today I'm going to start with what they call a layup, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's basketball, right? A uh, basketball metaphor for you. Great. Ellen from Norway asks, what time of day do you think is best to play an important match? Wow, Norway. Well, um, this is a layup because I uh, love playing under the lights when there's just like a little bit of dew on the ground to make the ball go fast. Um, but I am definitely like a night game person. There is actually a study that athletes have certain peak performance hours and I am a peak performer later on in the day. A so late, those late bird. Nasty like 12 o'clock games. Don't expect me to show up until the second half. What time of day do they play the World Cup final? 9 p.m. It was amazing. Really? Oh, wait. You're talking about like in general? Yeah. The last two, I thought they were in the morning. Oh, it depends. Yeah. The so World Cup ask finals have been on the day. But <laughs> I remember in France, we were playing games at like nine o'clock. Yeah. Which was amazing. I know. Yeah, I You're a late, it. late break. That was a layup. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for starting with softball. In that case, should I just go to the hard one? Yeah. Go to the mean um, one. The mean one? The mean one. Air quotes for okay. those listening on audio. <laughs> Allison Bailey from Canton, Ohio asks, who would win a soccer game if it were 11 Tobin Heath versus 11 Kristen Presses? Press E. Presses. Presses. Oh, okay. What is the plural of press? The plural of press <laughs> is press. <laughs> right? No, like if there's the presses. Like, the are, plural are you guys the of presses? Press? Your family. We're the press family. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's good. Um, That's a great question. And though. now I know why before the episode, Tobin decided this was a mean question because the answer was so obvious. <laughs> and I will have to agree that it is very obvious. Tobin would smoke me. <laughs> and here's why. I have, I have a lot of quality and excellence in what I consider the most entertaining, fun, and important part of the game. And I have... A lot of room to improve <laughs> in some of the less fun, boring, less entertaining parts of the game, like, you know, defending and, you know, conditioning, <laughs> you know, knowing where to be if it's not like in the box. So 11 Tobin Heath would be really scary, really competitive and like very <laughs> tactically sophisticated. And I would just have 11 players in the box. <laughs> I would love to see how 11 Kristen presses like showed like, up against me. Imagine Kristen in the goal. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I thought. That's I thought if edge. you had any chance. I need one. It, yeah. Could it be 10 one. Kristen and a listener? <laughs> Actually. Then she's got then a chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, next. Edlon from England asks, say one day you woke up in each other's bodies for 24 hours. Would Kristen make a better Tobin or would Tobin make a better Kristen? Oh my gosh. First off, this is so disturbing. <laughs> like, <laughs> just trying to picture this. Um, oh my gosh. I don't think either of us could do it. Like, I think if somebody, if we had somehow like swapped, like, people and we just like tried to like exist in the world i think there would be something so fundamentally off that people just like wouldn't understand remember when i saw that guy rollerblading one time and i was like that dude's totally an alien i do remember that because it was it was so weird <laughs> you think that he and his partner had swapped bodies <laughs> that's what you were seeing <laughs> okay wait i just want to quickly say i think i would be an excellent tobin i think Why? he's got it easy I would just not really say much and I would just <laughs> smile and be like, whatever, it's cool. You would fall apart. The world would end, actually, if you were trying to be me. Wait, but no you, one would be on time. No one would know what was going on. Yeah, but you would just be me in my body. No, it's I not wouldn't. Like you would no, it would turn act. into me. You see, this is when the art of acting comes <laughs> into play. I would act like you. I could not act like you. Okay, our team said last time our answer's a little short, so I think we're overcoming <laughs> I didn't hear that part, but way to go. Um, that's, that that's what how easy it would be to be me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, okay, you ready for your final one? Yes. Wendy from Camarillo, awesome, asks, what does your ideal Saturday look like? And I would just kind of uh, re 
Do Zhuzh. this, rejuice this to what does your ideal Sunday oh, look like? I love what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> um, my ideal Sunday would look like an early morning wake up, like right when the sun was coming up, and then no one else would be awake. And then I would spend like an hour like doing my journaling and scheduling and breathing. And then I would um, go and plunge in the ocean. And then I would put on a really cute farmer's market outfit, mm. which is like overalls or like a linen dress. And then I would go to the farmer's market. And right when I got to the farmer's market, I would say, how do we shop at the farmer's market? And there's one right answer. With our noses, well, with our senses, with our noses and our mouth and our heart. <laughs> you didn't know? We say it every time. I know. With our noses, with like our mouths, with our hearts. I wasn't at the farmer's market, so I couldn't really get yeah, into that Yeah, okay, spirit. that's fair. Yeah. But once you see the peaches, you know. Yeah. That's how you You're kind of intimidating market. at the farmer's market because you're so likable. I know. It's it's how I dress. It's the overalls. You I know, mean, you just you're, belong. <laughs> you're best self at the farmer's market. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I know. I really Farmer's am. market, Kristen. Thanks to our wonderful community for submitting the questions. At Reink, we have a membership that is the heart and soul of everything that we do. It's the coolest women's soccer community in the world, the coolest women's sports community in the world. Um, so if you would like to get your question on the show answered by Tobin and I, join our membership and you can submit your questions there. Also, the members are recapping the recap show. Ooh, so, so you cool. can go in and have conversations with everybody about what you're loving, what you're hating, what you want to see more. And I will say Tobin spends a, a decent amount of her weekends reading and combing through the questions for feedback. So you will get her attention, I promise. Mm -hmm.